Welcome to my kitchen. Correction. Welcome to my messy kitchen. So I'm going to show you more of my kitchen today in this video. Just a quick glimpse of some of the things I'm going to be working on in my kitchen organization project. Or should I say reorganization? No, organization. This is the first time. Yes, ever. So we'll start with this corner, which is actually kind of my catch-all table. And I know you probably have a catch-all table too, so you know exactly what I'm talking about, even if it's not in your kitchen. But this one happens to be in my kitchen, and there is so much random stuff on here, including oral care kit for dogs, <laughs> collagen face cream, uh, one of those get the dog hair off your shirt thingamajigs, and all kinds of random stuff where I've been cleaning and organizing throughout my whole house and things have just ended up here so that I can ultimately find a place for them. And so this is just kind of a random corner in my kitchen. It's what I usually have my back turned to when I'm making coffee or making food, since I don't cook. So I'll give you a tour of some of the other parts of the kitchen real quick. And yes, my hair is a mess, but who dolls love to clean the kitchen? Anyway, so top of the fridge. There are a collection of vases, a flashlight, some Febreze. Important if you have pets. There's all kinds of stuff up here, just random stuff, so that obviously needs to be cleaned out. My freezer, completely unorganized and empty, pretty much. Refrigerator's the same way. I'm like a female bachelor, and plus I have um, kids and company in and out, so there's all kinds of other random stuff in there, and one of my big goals is to organize my refrigerator with a shelf specifically for my food, since I eat low-carb and nobody else does. Two random things though. NSV, I had to move my belt another notch today. And number two, my kitchen is old. My house was actually built in 1923, which makes it really cool and kind of quirky, but my kitchen is very dated and old and weird. And blue countertops. I'm gonna have to get that fixed at some point. So next up is the medicine cabinet, which is this very small cabinet right here, which is just full of junk, Barbie band-aids included. My kids are grown. So, Barbie Band-Aids is, you know, whatever. Anyway, so one of the big things you want to do is go through all of your things in your medicine cabinet, or maybe they should be in the bathroom. But you want to go through all of those types of things and throw out anything that's outdated. And the same goes for spices, but we'll get to the spice cabinet in a second. Next, I have a row of five drawers here, and then cabinets all the way around, which I am blessed to have lots of cabinets in this kitchen. But these drawers are either really empty or really full of random stuff. So for example, I have a koozie, chair wine koozie. I have no idea where I got that from. Probably an Abbott Brothers concert because chair wine is based in North Carolina, just over the mountain from me. And that's also where the Abbott Brothers are from. If you've never heard them, you have got to YouTube them. They're an awesome band. And I know chair wine has sponsored some of their concerts. Anyway, also in this drawer, uh, I'll flip on refills. Three pack of vanilla candles random stuff. Uh, this is some kind of kitchen gadget parts. I'm not really sure what it goes to, but there's just all kinds of stuff. Plastic forks, knives, an old phone case. I'm sure you can relate. On the other side of the sink here, we have more cabinets. I have upper and lower cabinets, so I have tons of cabinet space. Um, the usual stuff out on the counter, coffee pot, my handy dandy food scale. I love this thing. And of course, leave-in hair product, face cream, off spray. These things are supposed to be on the counter. Now, I mentioned in my last video I have all kinds of stuff here. So I have like, I don't know, blenders, mixer, coffee grinder, slow cooker, whatever. Those things all need to go in the lower cabinet because they're not used that much. So that this space that I use a lot is set up better. And in this cabinet, I have just random stuff. There's, at the very top, which you can't see, there's random stuff. Glasses, and then Tupperware, plastic, whatever. Food items, it's not really food, but it's like nuts, coconut oil, peanut butter, coffee, creamer, random stuff. And so just lots of stuff there, and um, of course I'm going to do in this cabinet too, what's going on here. Now once we move over to these cabinets above the stove, and speaking of the stove, I'm so curious what is underneath this very strangely placed piece of landscape looking wallpaper. The blue paint and the wallpaper have to go. Not today though, not anytime soon. First, I'm gonna get my stuff organized. But up here above the stove, trash bags and light bulbs, which is very inconvenient. Nobody can ever find them. They're like, where are your trash bags? 
fact that people ask me that's probably a good thing because you know what that means. They're changing out the traps. Then here on the other side of the stove we have the spice cabinet, which I don't have that many spices in here, but there's tons of stuff I don't actually use. I don't even know where it came from. I don't even know the shelf life on spices, so we're going to have to deal with that. And there is part of a blender or mixer. I don't know where the other parts are. There's no telling. Who knows? Then we have on this side above the microwave um, more food. So I found the rest of the food. Not all of which is mine, of course, because my kids have cookouts and things like that with their friends sometimes. So it's separated a little bit. Like here's my chicken broth on this side, and here's my um, green beans and some other things on this side, and then there's junk in the middle. These things, I don't know who saves these things. I don't. They just appear here. And then, oh, there's another random part up there. I don't really know what that goes to. That's just the top cabinets. Then I have all these drawers, which are full of crazy stuff. This one below the microwave, for example, we have pot holders. We have a hammer. <laughs> there are, oh, there are also nails, which is very good for right below the microwave, right? Um, in addition to that, we have Oh my gosh, I don't even know what all this stuff is. Part of a car charger, I think. Um, oh, one of those nice things that's open. That's dangerous. I don't know if this thing, oh, yes, it will close. God, that takes a lot of strength. Something's wrong with that. You know what, we're gonna check that. Nobody will miss it. My rule is, if you haven't seen it, touched it, or used it, since I can't remember, nobody's gonna notice it's in the trash can either. <laughs> Then we have the lower cabinets, which first I have to move over the trash can and the trash that has not been taken out yet. And I have no idea what's in this cabinet. Not in a chair. There's a random chair in here. But that was actually from cleaning off the ceiling fan. So what we have in here, random doodads, trinkets. Oh, a crock pot. I don't even own a crock pot. The crock pot how-to guide. Uh, a recipe for lasagna. Don't need that. <laughs> All kinds of stuff in here. Oh, this is great. We have some of that chain link stuff that you hang plants with. I don't know what you call it, but you know, so you can hang plants off the back deck. That's great. And a vegetable slicer. My favorite little robo made gadget. <laughs> There's some dishes back there too that probably got stuffed back there when I first moved into this house and they've been sitting there ever since. I don't even know what kind of dishes they are. So we move over here to these lower cabinets with this towel in the way. Uh, what's in these drawers? Oh, come on, sorry, let me stop. This cabinet, oh, there's a punch bowl. <laughs> I actually use that to serve crab legs in because it's huge. Oh boy. Stuff to the max. Got a big stack of that. And this cabinet is where the mouse used to live. So I haven't been in there in a while. Uh, it's pretty cleaned out, actually. So there's just a few random pieces of Tupperware or whatever in there because, like I said, I had a mouse in that cabinet. A little bit of a problem. So then we have under the sink, which from one end to the other, that whole end of the kitchen, the lower cabinets are just chock full of who knows what. Cleaning supplies, just all kinds of random stuff. And honestly, I think the cleaning supplies could go in the guest bathroom closet. There's a guest bathroom closet and a good, nice top shelf in there. Totally out of the way, totally out of the kitchen. I mean, who cleans in the kitchen? I'm kidding. But I mean, you know, it's like furniture polish, you know, things like that that I don't actually use in the kitchen. So from my messy kitchen to yours, join us in the kitchen organization event. Or at least stay tuned for some checklists and handy tips and some after pictures. We have milk bones, too. We call these treats. Anybody want a treat? Come. Come. He just not know what to think of you guys watching. Come on. They're not going to hurt you. Here, sit. Sit. All the way down. Alright, there you go. Check out the link, join the event, stay tuned for some after pictures, and get this kitchen organized.